What you're about to watch is a lesson from my course, Stay Organized with Things 3. You can get that via the links below. You can become a member on my site. It's probably the best way, at least for me, or if you're on Skillshare, there's a link below to it on Skillshare. This video is going to show you how to automate your projects in Things 3 with shortcuts, with drafts, and with copy and paste. Have an awesome day. In this lesson, we're going to take a little look at how to automate some of your projects tasks in Things 3 uh, outside of shortcuts, because we've already covered that. So one of the ways is to simply do a, uh, I guess it's called a task paper format. So this is markdown, this is a dash with a task item. I can copy and paste all of those into Things 3. So let's go to my inbox, easy place to clean up and paste. So now you can see I've got all three task items in there easily. This is gonna be nice if you keep lists, say in Obsidian or some other note tool, and you can just copy and paste them into the spot you want in iPadOS, iOS, whatever. So let's resolve these. Let's clean up a couple of the other ones I have here too. So now one of the slightly more powerful ways is to use drafts. So if I open up drafts, you can see I have my task template here. And I've installed a special tool with drafts called the things parser. So this allows me to do stuff like say skiing, um, say when, when do I want this? And I can do today. So now if I click on things parser, it set me up to skate. So I know that as for skating today, I need to get the trailer, the trailer hitch, the bike, bike shoes, lights, Arwen's helmet, Lorelei's helmet, Curtis helmet, and then Eden, I need to make sure my oldest daughter has her mask, gloves, skate, snack. This can be good for whenever I, you know, have skis to pack, stuff like that. Uh, I have a list to make sure that I remember all the stuff because the only time I didn't do this list last year, I forgot the ski boots for two kids. So that's another good way to do it. There's also the way in shortcuts, which I've already showed you, where you can create a things URL with all the things you want in there. Now, the nice thing about doing this is if I want another uh, lights here, I can add a subtask, right? I can say N and I can say uh, tail light front light. Now I would have a checklist item with two subtasks or there's two subtasks under my lights to say, make sure I have a front light and a tail light for riding my bike back and forth when I tow the kids in the trailer.